Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription Casey's mod. We're going to try to do another high-end run here. I think it we're up to 90 points and we do have annoying starters added in here as a possibility. Um, I think that I'll stick with my Mantis God combo for now. I'm just looking through to see if there's anything else I want to try. Um, that one doesn't seem super useful. And the ant setup, not really. Um, don't really like the kraken either. And that one just didn't seem to work out. So let's stick with our mantis god. All right, we got to try to get ninety points this time. So let's see what we can do. Um, I guess single candle is still another possibility here. That would exceed it. Let's see. There we go. And yeah, let's go with that. Okay. We have a fire event coming up right away, so I'll make a stop over there. Okay. Let's take our alpha and how about hmm, bullfrog? Why not? Hopefully, we'll get rid of one of our ringworms right away. There we go. Good. Now we can just start buffing up our uh, mantis god like crazy. Okay, Wild Bull is coming out, so let's see, hmm, well, I guess I can put the Bullfrog down, looks like only the starting cards have Annoying on them, so it's not much of a thing, I mean, 10 points, I don't think it's gonna be a big hurt on us, really. There we go. I guess it could be a problem in some cases, but I don't see it being a problem for me anytime soon, thankfully. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty funny with the tree attacking alongside everything else. It's like a whomping willow. Hey, there's that red heart, and I didn't read the text. Something about the power and rose. I clicked too quickly. Alright. Five health, that's going to be a pretty good setup. Just need to get our attack power boosted up as well, and we'll be doing well. Let's read this one again. Spilled blood. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of sacrifices made during your turn. Hmm. Yeah. It's just not good. I mean, it seems to me like that one's going to be a bit of a waste overall. Okay. Well, I could use the bones here. Not get the alpha on the board. This guy is going to be waterborne, anyways. This isn't a good combo with the mole as well, but I guess let's put this down and we'll get the uh, ringworm going too. Okay. Oh, that annoying sigil took us out. All right, so Mantis God should be able to finish this out, I think. So as much as I didn't want to have to use something up, well, at least I think I'm pretty close to finishing. Nope. OK, 
Okay, good. Might as well go all the way here and pull a tooth while we're at it. Why not? Okay, cool. Alright, let's go middle. Hey, nice. Sigil swap. I don't think I have anything I really want to do. So this will be unfortunate. Um, kind of want to burn the red heart. It just doesn't seem useful at all. But none of these cards really inspire confidence. Um, maybe I could put the alphas on the bullfrog and keep it around just for uh, that one blood cost might be better than having the bone cost so we'll see it's already seeming like a hard fight as it is uh, another waterborne elk fawn hmm Let's look at this three on the board. And that mole is going to be blocking, fortunately. We won't be able to get rid of that elk fawn either, I don't think. That's tough. Okay. Okay, let's see. We can power up the sky right here. That might be enough to clear up the map. There we go. Good. I guess doing that sigil swap to have it on the bullfrog worked out for the better. Okay, let's see. I guess let's go with the pronghorn. Okay, good. Let's make our Mantis God much more viable. Now we just need to sacrifice our round worm and we'll be down to just that round worm. Or not round worm. I keep calling them round worm. <laughs> Ring worms. As soon as we get rid of it, we will be down to just the Mantis God. So that'll be good. I think I'll take this head for now. Okay. Okay, let's see. Bullfrog could be put down to uh, power up the uh, golden pelt. That would be kind of comical. We'll do that. Although I do wonder if it could be traded. So maybe I'll just leave it like this for now. Oh, pronghorn. I don't think this is going to turn out the way I need it to now. This is uh, too much at once, so I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell because there's no coming back. This has been a tough run. I uh, don't know what was kind of falling apart with it, but I had kind of weird situation those elk fawns that were... Um, coming back. I think I might have had more difficult on. It might have been why it was so weird. So let's see if there's another way to get to 90 points that isn't insane. Um, totem battles would do it. I could leave on these other things. I could get rid of 15 there and get rid of boss. I think that would be better than having boss battles. And I also don't have to have more difficult Okay, maybe that's what I had when I first went. I'm not positive though. It seemed weird with how aggressive the elk fawns were, so I think I may have had more difficult on. Just not sure. Okay. Let's see. 
How about we consider getting us a Ant Queen and a Mantis? We could put the Dire Wolf Pups um, Fledgling on the Ant Queen. I think I'll do that. Hey, Wizard Max, how are you today? Okay, let's see. We'll go this way. All right. Let's see. We've got a bee coming in, and we can. We'll just stay here for the moment. Sure. Sure, I'll just call you a wizard. Sure thing. Let's see. Good to hear you're doing well. Put out our ant queen real fast. And our work rant. I don't know if you saw, but I just lost my first round of inscription today, so I'm getting on a new one. It was really difficult. I think I had more difficult turned on and it just uh, took me out quickly. So I'm hoping to have a little bit better luck now. Playing with the annoying sigil turned on for my starting deck and it makes everything a little bit more challenging to you. Okay. A mealworm. I'm doing well. Just uh, enjoying a good couple of rounds today, and I'll probably um, take a break from inscription soon. I'm thinking about maybe playing Stray. Uh, next, I'm not positive, but it looks like it might be a fun game. I'm almost up to 50 inscription streams, crazy enough. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Have you played Stray already? Ah, cool. Yeah, I'd seen just a little bit of the gameplay and it looked impressive. Okay. Hopefully we'll get to uh, use the ringworms up in our first fire area so that we can keep advancing. Alright, not enough to trade in yet. That's okay. This wasn't the main place I wanted to go to. I wanted to go to the fire. Alright, good. First fire has already uh, been taken care of, so that's good. I see two more opportunities for fires coming up as well. Alright, I guess I gotta get our Mantis God down for saying. And we will continue from there. That annoying sigil. Oh, here comes an adder. That's not good. Um, makes me want to put the dire wolf pup down. I really hate to uh, spend the uh, squirrel that I have, but can't lose a round either, so either way it's a 
tough situation. Dire wolf pup could take out the adder and be just fine. So I think we'll do that. Another adder. What? Okay. Let's see. There's not enough there to uh, help me win either. So I'll get four, but they're going to undo that right away. I think I'll have to pull a tooth to have a good shot at winning this. And uh, we'll just let it go from there. It's pretty that if I let that go on, I was going to lose. I don't have a good totem. It's not really applicable. I'd like to go to these fires. Um, since I have two items, I think I'll go to this middle fire and that'll be acceptable. Let's go with River Snapper, just in case we don't get a good um, totem out of this. We'll at least have something applicable. All right, good. Make this guy. Okay, let's make our um, reptile stinky for the moment, I guess. <laughs> okay. like nothing really to play yet so we'll ring the bell and draw a card out and we got our mantis god so that's good um we couldn't have one of the kingfishers get pulled back um so i think that we'll take that just to get rid of one of them okay and let's do our Mantis God. Right here. And that should be okay, because I should be able to put six damage down on the board. Um, even with that bait bucket there, I don't have to worry about hitting it. So, let's see, I don't even have enough bone to play my millworm yet. That's kind of funny. Um, so we'll just let it play out because we have nothing to worry about. There we go. Excellent. Ooh, we're definitely taking the cockroach. We'll be putting that on our mantis god when we get a chance. Okay. A Wolverine, a Warren, and a Kingfisher. Hmm. Tend to say let's go with the Wolverine. We'll get rid of the cockroach soon. Um kind of do need to do this, but I would like to sacrifice that ringworm so that I have one less one blood to draw from, making it more likely I get the mantis god. So I think that I'll do that. Wasn't my favorite thing to do for this turn, but it's probably for the best. Alright, come on, Mantis God, we need you. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and win this outright. So nice having the power upgrade so that you don't have to worry about it. You just win and keep moving. Alright. So I do have the one pelt. I don't know if that's worth taking a trip there, though. So let's go to the cave event instead. Two of a kind, five bone, and four blood. Okay, I think maybe Wolverine and Dire Wolf are in the same. We've got three fort bugs, 
Um, River Sniper's kind of on its own. Let's do two of a kind. I think that this, none of these were a great chance, so yeah, we failed. Oh well. Okay. Now, I did want to put my cockroach on the mantis god, but I'm tempted to do it on the direwolf pup on the ant queen to start, or vice versa. Um, let me think. They would have bone producing and fledgling that way, um, and we'd get to keep the power of a full grown direwolf. So that's kind of tempting. Um, I think I'd rather have the Mantis God that comes back first. And even though I won't get the extra sigil ability if I get to duplicate this card, I'll still at least get to um, enjoy it coming back. And that might save me, so I'll just take what we can get. Okay. Here we go. see double strike if I can put it on anything the Wolverine might be a good one um, or taking the Wolverine's ability and putting it on the dire wolf sounds good too I think I'm gonna take the cuckoo though cuckoo can be kind of a nice and annoying card okay let's do our mantis god Worst case scenario, it'll either drop a sigil or drop an attack power by one. Hey, it's an improvement. Four and one, and it kept a sigil. Excellent. Oh, I see another sigil swap coming up too, and I don't think I'm going to have much there. That might be where I do the ant situation. Um, we'll see. Let's go ahead and win this with uh, seven excess teeth. <laughs> Man, that's unreal. Hmm, another Wolverine. I think I'll go with the Moose Buck. Okay. So, let's see. Now, if I put the Cuckoo's abilities on the Dire Wolf Pup and it was Airborne instead, that would be interesting because it would block its lane and having that double strike, it would go uninterrupted. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to do that. But I also like the Dire Wolf Pup's abilities on Ant Queen so that the Ant it produces also becomes a Queen with more HP. But I'm going to go this weird route here, and we'll see if it plays out or not. It's pretty weird, but we'll do it. Okay. I could do a fire event, or I could combine these guys up. I think I want to go with the fire event instead, depending on what it is. Oh, it's a might improvement. Um, let's see. Well... Wolverine might be a good candidate so that it's just hard to uh, beat. I could put it on the Mantis Gods, but they're already so strong as they are. I just think it may be a waste. So, Direwolf Pup would win things for us pretty quickly as well. I think I'm going to go with the Direwolf Pup because if it gets up to that five attack power um it would win once deployed with the cuckoo egg blocking so i mean heck i could maybe play it right here if i used both my squirrels and i drew it first thing um so that would be fantastic it's not going to happen right now but it could have happened um
Okay. Let's see. I kind of need to lay a squirrel down so I can have something to trade in, but I'm not too worried here. We're just going to keep rolling with our uh, hits. one down so that we don't necessarily advance. Well, we will advance either way, but that's okay. We did get a pelt, so we'll have two to trade in. We should be able to clear off a spot big enough to play our higher end Mantis God and get a 100% win, so no problem. Okay, so let's clear out our mole and bullfrog and that should be enough and we'll just play our stronger of the two mantis gods and let's see they did do something a little bit tricky and they moved that in front of me so um mantis god would take that out i think i do need to use my squirrel and put down the other one um just for extra safekeeping here. I think there's a 0% chance win now for this. Okay, good. Didn't want to use my scroll, but that's fine. I should have probably tried to activate the traps with something to get them ensnared. Definitely building a weird deck, but kind of getting weird cards and weird situations anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright. Now I could pursue items. Um, sigil swaps. I could put Raven Egg on, or use its fledgling on something. Um, hmm. Perhaps that would be the card that I use on the Ant Queen, or actually vice versa. That would lower the cost. I think I'll do that, actually. Um, but I don't have any ants, so any other ants. So that would just be a little bit of a waste, I guess. This is hard, and I could make another duplicate duplication run, too. Um, well... Let's do another duplication and I'll do the 4 1 and we'll see how it turns out. I might get lucky and have a um, chance to get a. Oh, perfect. Won that one handily. Um, get a really, really strong setup. Ooh, Bees Within and Fledgling on a Dire Wolf. I think that's hard to resist. Bloodlust and Mighty Leap on a Rat King. Wild Bull has Trinket Bearer and Bees Within. It costs a little bit less too. I don't already have a Dire Wolf, but man, this would be so buff and take a lot of hits. So I think I'm going to take it. The generating bees would be unreal. Okay. So let's do our 4 and 1 Mantis God. Hopefully the stats will come out the same. Okay, it's actually exactly right, so perfect. Alright, time for our Mantis God. Quick win, here we come. Too bad I can't make it to the trapper before uh, this area. Kind of do need to trade in my rabbit pelt, so I think I'll do it just to get something and get rid of the one I have right now. Okay, um, well, perfect. I could get a uh, 
worker ant. That would be good. Maybe an, another ant queen so I can keep the ant queen army strong. Um, hmm. A lammergeier might be interesting too, though. Let's just go with an ant, though. That'll give me extra incentive to try to get my ant queen to work with me. Okay, decent items. I need to use those bones up in a game soon. Oh, excuse me. We've got bloodlust to deal with on this one. Oh, excuse me. Got hiccups all of a sudden. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Now here's another fire event. There's a fungus event too. Could get us an Uber Mantis God. I think that we'll seek that out first. Another dire wolf. I guess let's go with the coyote. Just to have some variety. Alright. Seven and two. And it's unkillable. I think that we'll be pretty happy with that. Yep. Here we go, right away. That'll give us nine teeth extra. Hopefully we'll get to trade the teeth in. We've got so many. Oh man, I'm missing two fire events over there on the other side. I took the corpse maggots just in case I get to use it. Um, there we go. So let's see. What do we want to put it on? Maybe the uh, moose buck since it's high value. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Cool. Okay. Ooh, having an auto deploy. Let's see, that could work with the river snapper. Um, or, let's see, my wolf. That would be even better. Too bad I can't get both of these at the same time. I'm going to take that and we'll go with this. And worst case scenario, um, I'll get the wolf head later or an, an insect head and be having a pretty good situation, I think. Okay, I think this is my second boss. I hope it is. Um, slightly lost track. Okay. Well, not a good start. I was hoping to have my mantis god right away, but since it would get demolished anyways, this may be for the best. Let's put down boulder and wait a turn. All right, dire wolf pup. Um, now that, if I use my bones now, I could get it on the board. And that would be pretty comical to get us to the next phase. So let's do it. Oh no, we got a raven egg out of that. <laughs> That's not cool. Out of all the bad ways that that could have went, and it chose the worst one. At least we'll get to the next phase and have two slots open. That's what uh, is going to be important here, I think. Alright. We got our mantis god. So, let's see. If I cut this, we're going to get... If I don't cut it, we're going to get 5 damage. Actually, yeah. And die. Um, I can put down the Wolverine and then Mantis God on top of it. And that would mostly take care of things, I think. Um, 
Let me see. Well, I'm trying to think if there's a problem here. If the Bloodhound comes down, it would do two damage and four. So yeah, I think that my best bet is to sacrifice this so that I can get the Mantis God going. Okay. Oh no, that three, okay. That scared me, I thought that was gonna be too much. Uh, we'll put down the worker ant as well to uh, get rid of the pack meal so the mantis god can put more damage on the board. There we go. I think that that's a win. Good. Just barely. That was pretty hard, actually. I do miss getting the boss rares. Is this worth too many points though to pass up? Oh wow, so I did get it all the way to the boss. I got all those teeth. I didn't realize I was that far. I guess I should have though. Um, so let's see. I could get a better sigil perhaps, or I only have I don't have any pelts to trade, actually. Um, getting autumn sounds like a good idea, too. Or let's see about sigils. What can we do with our sigils? Anything clever? Um, now I could put that raven egg, its ability on the worker ant or something. Or maybe the magpies on the ant so that I could find a card more quickly in case I don't draw out on the Mantis Gods. Um, I think I'm going to do that because that might be enough to get it going. Um, but it also makes it airborne too. So that's okay. I don't think that's a major problem. Well, the Raven Egg is already airborne as it is. So um, maybe I'll put it there instead. That way it won't make something that's not normally airborne, airborne, and possibly throw off the rhythm. Okay, wish me luck. Here we go. It's only maybe the fourth time I've been to this, like, on this first time for a 90 point challenge, and like, maybe only the fourth time for an 80 plus, so, hoping I get made to Scott right away, and I did, thank goodness. Um, so we'll set it right here, and... That'll get us to the next phase immediately. Okay. No worry about the stump. That will be just fine. Now if I lose my Mantis God, my Moose Buck's gonna come out. So that'll be fun. Oh, hey, there's our dire wolf that we've been wanting to use forever. Um, fortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to draw cards quickly enough um, to make it work. But let's see. It's funny that Mantis God is aggroing it to uh, attack me. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we won't get to see that wicked cool dire wolf that I've been saving up for. Um, I mean, I could play it, but it's just going to be the same outcome, so we'll just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Thanks, wizard. That was fun. Okay, wow. 11 misplays across that. Um, let's see what we get here. Entry number nine. Today I found out what happened to PO3. Unless he turned the scribe of technology into a stoat card, I found the card on the shelf below the safe and laughed right out loud when it told me it was PO3 and needed help. I handed it over to Leshy, who was less amused. I guess this is the fate that the other scribes met, though I haven't seen them yet. Oh, a tadpole. It's waterborne. Also, a tadpole will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Interesting. 
I'm guessing that would be a frog. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, this is a newer deck. We've got a rabbit, a tadpole, and a gek. Huh. I'm going to have to read about that and see what the uh, possibilities are there. Challenge unlocked. Squirrelfish. Your squirrels had the waterborne sigil. 20 challenge points. Now, what does that do? Squirrels had the waterborne sigil. Oh, I guess so that would mean they can't serve as a defense for you. Um, but that's okay because I don't think I care, anyways. Um, that replacing something else, like maybe single candle or something, could be a huge boon. Um, while wow, I have to get a hundred points, so so I say all this and then I look at the challenge and it's still pretty hard. Um, Single candle may have to be the only way forward on that. But I don't think that the aqua squirrels or the squirrel fish is going to be a problem. Um, I mean, look at that. That looks like a decent run. But right, yeah, losing the defense, that is that is a problem. But it doesn't happen a whole lot for me. Like, I, I think that a lot of matches... Um, I don't have that, so I could replace them with pelts, I guess, would be one strategy. Is like, instead of trading in all my pelts, try to keep maybe three, like two or three, you know? Um, but I'll be thinking about that. I think that I'll just uh, go ahead and roll credits since we had a, another win today, and I don't want to uh, jinx it and rather end it on a high note. So we'll go ahead and say thanks for watching. It's been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank. I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good day.